All right, we're gonna be doing the accuracy slash suit shooting tests at the distances of 25, 50, 75, and 100 feet. The first one will be with 0.20 gram BBs. All right, we're at 25 feet using the 0.20 gram BBs. So first we'll do semi-auto. All right, here's full auto. All right, here are the groupings at 25 feet. Did you guys get a good look? I was not aiming towards the head. I was aiming at the center mass. And by the way, I was sitting on a table. So, uh, all right, here we go at 50 feet with 0.20 gram BBs. See the stuff at about there. All right, my friend might have had a little bit of an awkward angle, but he still managed to hit right around the the target. And some of them hit the target, some of them missed the target. But I'd say it was pretty good for 50 feet. So uh, all right, let's move on back to 75. All right, here we are at 75 feet with the .20 gram BB. So here you go. All right, that was at 75 feet. As you can see, I had my hop up maybe a little bit up too much. And I was still hitting pretty good groupings. I mean, that's about a chest size maybe. It depends on how big or small your target is. I'd say it's pretty good grouping. So uh, we're gonna move it on back to 100 feet with 0.20 gram BBs. All right, here we go at 100 feet with 0.20 gram BBs, you might want to discard the first few shots because we're kind of going to be getting it in. So uh, here you go. So here are the results. I had about 100 feet. They're pretty good, but if you're just standing up, it's gonna be pretty hard to hit him, hit the, your target. I mean, you could probably hit him, a uh, full, uh, full body, yeah, because we were hitting the board some of the time. Sometimes they were falling just right in front of it. Some of the times they were going just a little bit up or a little bit to the right, but it's kind of hard to see uh, that far away. I mean, not really, but kind of hard to see. So uh, 
All right, up next we're gonna use the .25s at 25 feet. All right, as you can see, we did not just guess the distances. We actually measured from here to the first cone was 25, then 50, then 75, which is right there, then 100 feet. So, uh, all right, here you go. All right, here we are at 25 feet using the 0.25 gram BBs. Here you go. All right, and we're gonna be going on full auto here. Here we are. As you can see, the groupings were pretty tight at uh, 25 feet with the 0.25 gram BBs. I would recommend these more than 0.2s. There were a lot less uh, flyers, as you can see. Almost all of them were in this on this target. Very few flew up, or if I did, it was because I moved. So, all right. Next up, we're going to be using the 0.25 gram. BBs at 50 feet. All right, here we are, 50 feet, 0.25 gram BBs. Here you go. All Here's the results from 50 feet with the 0.25 gram BBs. They were pretty good. I mean, they were going right where the where I aimed at, and if they went off, it was because of me. It was user error. I mean, it's as accurate. I mean, it's pretty accurate. I mean, I've seen more accurate, but it's pretty good. So next we're going to be 75 feet using the 0.25 gram BBs. Let's see. At 75 feet with the 0.25 gram BBs. Here you go. Here are the results from 75 feet, 0.25 gram BBs. Uh, sometimes they were going up, I was just kind of aiming in for the first part. Then it was pretty easy just to aim right at it. I mean, as long as you got your hop up adjusted, you should be fine. So here you go at 100 feet with the 0.25 gram BBs. Here we are at 100 feet with 0.25 gram BBs. Here you go. Alright, here are the results on 100 feet. It's a little bit harder to hit. I mean, that's about its maximum range, 100 feet or so. So, alright. 
we were using Lancer uh, BBs and Nashville Airsoft BBs. The Nashville Airsoft BBs were the 0 .20 gram BBs. The Lancer BBs were the 0 .25 gram BBs. Just thought I'd throw that in there. And we're going to do an ROF test with an 8.4 volt battery and then we're going to be using a 9.6 volt battery just so you guys can kind of hear the difference between a 9.6 volt and an 8.4 volt to see if you would want to buy another battery with it or if you just think an 8.4 volt's fine so uh, here you go all right here's the rate of fire test we're going to be using a 9.6 volt 2000 milliamp Tenergy BB or Tenergy battery it will not fit in the crane stock I thought it might that would be your only problem. I mean, you could always wire it. I guess you could wire it to the front, or you can just get a battery, whatever holder there. Got it. Yeah. All right, here you go. A lot of. All right, here's with the 8.4 volt battery that came with the gun. Here's the rate of fire. Still pretty decent. 9.6 volt shoots a little bit faster, but it will not fit in your gun. And this style, the brick style, or butterfly, whatever you want to call it, will not fit in his gun in the crane stock unless you got one of those little battery things that you put on the side like on the stock or peck box or something so all right say hello to my little friend right, here's just a little bit of shooting at some cans go ahead <laughs> 